Hi there, I'm John Kirstead from Arctic Spas. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a new feature that was introduced early this year um, to go along with Spa Boy. For those of you that don't know what Spa Boy is, uh, Spa Boy is a automated uh, saline system um, that we use to sanitize the spa in our Arctic Spas Custom Series Spas. Now, the, the uh, key part of Spa Boy is that it measures the water um, quality for both sanitizer levels as well as pH. And up until now, um, we haven't had a way to automate the function of the pH. We've been able to automate so it tests and if you need uh, more sanitizer, it'll uh, increase the amount of sanitizer that you have in the water. Um, but smart pH is adding a new element to that. So instead of, instead of uh, um, you having to adjust your pH um, down, uh, because with all of these saline systems, uh, part of the electrolysis when that molecule splits up is that you're going to get uh, the Na part of, you know, the NaCl, the Na part of that mixes with the OH of the water and it starts forming sodium hydroxide in your water, which increases your pH. So whenever you have a saline based system, over time your pH steadily increases. And it hasn't really been a big deal. For people, uh, you know, if you, your pH goes up, usually every seven to ten days, you end up having to bring it down a little, uh, which is quite easy to do. But for those of us that don't want to do anything with our spa, um, you know, we just want it to operate and be ready for us, and we just want to use the hot tub. Um, this is the next generation of automation. So what we're able to do now is we're able to put cartridges in and. There's a special setup that I'm going to explain to you of how this releases some pH decreaser in the water um, using the same information from that medical grade probe. So basically what happens is, is that every 10 minutes or so, Spa Boy's checking the water. It's literally doing a test through the, through the probe. It's testing to see, um, is this water safe? You know, do I need to add sanitizer? Do I need to... Um, adjust the pH down. Um, and so once the pH creeps up to a certain point, I believe it's about uh, just shy of eight, once it hits that point, then there's actually a valve that opens up and allows water to feed into this canister. And inside this canister, canister there's a couple of cartridges and those cartridges hold a uh, pH decreaser in it. And so they get wet and it op that valve allows a Venturi effect that allows some mild acid solution to go into the water and it lowers your pH down. Um, and then it checks every six minutes or so after that to see is the pH coming down, is the pH coming down. And if it detects that the pH has come down, it'll close the valve until it needs to do it the next time. A um, couple of things that we've learned, you know, um, you may wonder, well, why am I introducing this now? Well, because my policy is, is whenever there's new things uh, that come out, I like to test it a lot first in my own stores, in my own spas, um, so that I can be confident when I come to you and uh, rec make the recommendation. And so I'm now confident that we've figured out you know, there's always little tweaks and bugs, you know, when you do stuff in the lab and you, even when you set up um, test scenarios and stuff and do some prototyping and that sort of thing, um, there's, it's just not real life. And because it's not real life, sometimes there's these unintended conse consequences. And so one of the, the things that we discovered was is that there were times when the uh, canisters would empty all of their stuff and then suddenly you'd have water that was acidic. So we've done a few things um, to prevent that um, and we learned a few things along the way. Now the good thing is, is that now what happens is, is that um, it's detecting and so there's two cartridges that are stacked and actually I, I'd like to show you that. Let's take a look at where it is, right? So when we come here, you see this, this uh, top here. I'm going to try to see if I'm strong enough to open it. It's on there pretty tight. There, got it. Okay, and it's just this cartridge or canister that holds these cartridges in it, right? And inside here, if you look down, it's empty. Right now it's empty. And what happens is, is that when, there's a, when it detects that it needs to, um, when it needs to lower the pH, it actually puts water in that and it actually, initially what it'll do is it'll, it stays open only long enough so that the bottom one is covered, right? So the water creeps up and then the valve opens and it sucks that in. But it only allows it to come up to here. If 
the sensor senses that, hey, the pH still isn't dropping, the pH still isn't dropping, then the valve opens up longer so the water can creep up to cover the next canister. And so that's why when you go to replace these, you have to tell the system that you're replacing it. Otherwise, you put two new canisters in here because normally this one's not going to get covered until this one's empty, right? And then it'll come up and it'll go into this one. If you don't tell it that, then the next time you put fresh cartridges in here, put it in there, get everything running, it's going to still think that this one's empty and it's going to bring it up to here and then you're going to have both of them putting pH decreaser in the water and the next thing you know, your water's too acidic which was the, one of the problems that we had. Um, the other thing is, is that these cartridges themselves, um, they have openings and you kind of like the old chlorine tablet dispensers, you could open it up wider or open it up less. It opens more holes in the wall. So I'll show you on the actual canister. If you look, here's the smart pH canisters. All right, oops. So when you look at these, these are just filled with a pH decreasing sodium bisulfate, the same adjust down that you would normally use. But you can see there's a, there's a little, a little uh, number on here. And as you turn this, you change the number, right? And some of them, they can be a little bit harder to turn than others. This one's a little tough there. There I got it. So now it says one. And that's usually what I want it. There's one. See, so it says one on there. And you can see that that opened up a few so some of the, the stuff can come out. And then what we've been doing is we've been setting these on two, right? And you can see some of the powder there. Now, don't get this, if you drop this on stuff, it's, it's acid, right? If you get water and moisture, it, it, so you should be safe with it. It's not highly corrosive, but it does have this, the melting hand pitcher uh, warning. So I'd recommend, you know, if you're handling this at any length of time, make sure you wash your hands or wear gloves, right? It is always a safe choice uh, and eyewear uh, with that. So when you get this, the factory is going to recommend, depending on the size of tub that you have, they're going to have different settings. And you can see that this could open up a lot more openings if you want. What we're doing right now, though, is we're keeping it at two. And two is for the smallest spa that we have in our, our lineup. Um, th th if you look at like this uh, Timberwolf right here, a spa about this size, pretty small spa. Um, that's what we're using because the, the thing that I found is that uh, pH adjustment doesn't have to happen quickly. It can happen slowly over time. And by not opening this as much, there's a far less chance that we'd over uh, put too much acid in the water, that we'd overdose the acid, right? So this system might mean that the valve comes open more often and uh, you're treating it for a longer period of time, but you're only adding a little bit at a time. And we think that that is going to make it so there's less chance that you'll have this problem. Um, we get asked quite a bit, um, how long are these going to last? That is a very difficult question to answer because it's, it comes down to the how much are you using the spa? You know, the more you use the hot tub, the more Spa Boy generates sanitizer, which means it's also going to be generating some pH increaser. So you're going to have to adjust your pH more often. If you use your tub a lot, um, you'll, you'll go through cartridges more often. What we were told was that these will last basically around 20 weeks or so. So I'd say 10 weeks a cartridge. You may get longer than that. You might get a little less than that. But the bottom line is, is that you're not going to be having to test every seven to 10 days and adjust your pH from there. And that's the benefit of it. This is available to anybody that has Spa Boy currently on their spa. Your Spa Boy generator was already set to run this type of a system. We make a firmware adjustment, which means that you have uh, to change the software a little bit to allow this. And there's a few things that you have to do on the top side to enable it. But the bottom line is, is that when we promised you that as new stuff came out, you'd be able to have it. Well, guess what? You're able to add this to your spa. So contact your local Arctic Spas dealer, find out if they've got the uh, smart pH kits in stock and see about getting one added to your spa. It's a, it's a bit of a plumbing job. You gotta get under there, so you need some access and that sort of thing. So expect that they'll, you'll get charged a couple of hours labor, maybe uh, three or four, depending on how much accessibility you have. But the bottom line is that the, this is something that you can add to your spa 
for a very reasonable price and take that one other chore away from you. So you don't have to do it. The other thing is, is it doesn't forget, right? So, you know, when people are looking after the spa, they forget and, you know, when we go through, we. We as dealers can see all of our customer spas in Spa Boy, and the number one error that we see is pH too high. And it's because it creeps up. And it's interesting because in your app and in the portal, you get a notification that says your pH is too high. Adjust it. Um, but people don't. So this system will prevent that from happening. Uh, speaking of the app, I know a lot of people have been having issues with the app and stuff like that. Um, you know, the, the people that make the phones and stuff like that will change one thing and then all the app developers have to change all their stuff. So there's always kind of this uh, delay uh, that takes place for, for our people to figure out what's not working and what they need to change. So I often recommend people use the portal, the My Arctic Spa portal. Functionality wise, it's basically the same as the app. And I've heard that there'll be a smart pH module there. Because remember I said that you have, when you put new cartridges in, you have to reset it. So the way we reset it, I'm gonna come back over here. If I just put two new ones in here, I come to the top side control here and I just hold down this pump two key. You may have seen this before because we also use this to initiate Spa Boy, right? So if you look here, this is gonna say boo, don't get scared, it's all right. Then it says SBB, that's Spa Boy Boost, so that initiates a Spa Boy Boost normally. We keep holding it. And it should say, I think it's PHB. So once it says PHB, it's telling the system that I've put new cartridges in, so it's reset it so that the water only comes up a little way up the canister, so it's only engulfing the bottom one. It's not going all the way to the top. So now it knows I'm only uh, doing that. So each time you change your cartridges, which will be, you know, probably twice a year. Uh, if you use it more, maybe it'll be three times per year. But when you change those cartridges, you have to do this. Otherwise, you could possibly over uh, uh, pH down your water. And that's it. You could hear that it initiated the pump. The pump creates a Venturi effect. That's what actually draws this uh, uh, solution back into the tub, which lowers the pH of the water. All right? That's it. Um, so, when you first have smart pH, I wanted to start people off on the right foot. If you first have smart pH, um, we're not telling people to uh, immediately uh, put it into the hot tub. And the reason why is that when you first fill up your spa and you first get it set up on Spa Boy, um, you're, typically there's not a lot of sanitizer in the water. So Spa Boy comes on for a long time and you can uh, at the same time produce a bunch of pH up. And so these things could get emptied quite quickly on that first fill. So what we're telling people is when you first fill up your spa and you're first getting your tub ready, um, we want you to get your salt level right. We want you to get your alkalinity so it's nice and high. Like we want your alkalinity to actually be between 80 and 120, which is higher than normal recommendations. It can still work if it's less than that. This is what we call ideal, right? If we can get your, your alkalinity up higher, it means your pH won't fluctuate as much. So there's less adjustments that need to be done because there's a buffer already built into the water. The next thing that we want to do is we want to, uh, let me just check the nook here. Oh, then balance your, balance your uh, pH. You know, right away, just balance your pH. Um, I also have my technicians add liquid chlorine. Even though your salt system is going to produce chlorine, by adding liquid chlorine right away, you get an instant residual. And um, liquid chlorine is NaClO. So it's salt with an oxygen molecule. So it integrates with the water chemistries. This is why I tell people don't use Boost, um, which is uh, sodium dichlor. Don't use tablets. Those are stabilized chlorines, and they're the wrong chlorine to use on a hot tub definitely the wrong chlorine to use with the salt system. This, if you use liquid chlorine, it's gonna integrate with the rest of your salt system and its byproducts are salt and oxygen. So that's the right product to use. You get that chlorine level, so it's in an ideal range so that people can use their spa right away. They don't have to wait for Spa Boy to chug along for a few hours to get a residual. And you don't have to make a pH adjustment because you've already adjusted your pH. If you do this, then what'll happen is, is that your spa is going to start just looking after itself. So usually a couple days later, we have people load these to two, put them in, do the spa boy boost on the top side. 
Um, soon you'll be able to do that from the app and now your tub is fully automated for sanitization and for pH adjustment. Hey, and by the way, um, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe and like button uh, so that other people can also benefit from these videos. Really appreciate all of your support and uh, this helps us to keep providing more and more content to you. So hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, hey, if you've got a comments and stuff like that, send us your information. If you've got some ideas for videos, let us know that too. I'm John Kirsted from Arctic Spas. Thanks for watching. Thank you.